So, Old Noah Zero finally comes to an end, and I gotta tell you, this is easily one of the greatest animes that I've seen in a very long time. Let's get with it. Give the video a thumbs up if you guys are enjoying. Let me know how you felt about the anime overall, as well as the finale. Let's get into it. It ended off really weird, but at the same time, I kind of enjoyed this ending. Like, I couldn't find a way to see an ending towards this show, because there could be multiple endings, but I like this ending that it went into. Pretty much it went down, uh... Fuck, I'm so bad with names. Slain and Inaho had their final battle, you know, and they finally just brawled it out and everything. And Slain was going to suicide pretty much. He kept himself inside of the moon base. He took Princess Lemia out of there and everyone else. He just told them to evacuate and didn't even fight uh, the Terrans anymore. They just flew off and they went to just go all the way back to main base and they were just done. All right. And I'm pretty sure had they have gone back, they would have just come back, you know, and they would have just annihilated them since the grandfather is just an absolute pissed off salty guy for what they did to his son you know but you gotta think about it right now all of them are just fleeing off and everything and he's gonna suicide himself and just blow himself up inside of the moon base because he feels like he betrayed uh princess of salem uh because she did not want any of this to happen she wanted slain to be a good guy and everything she wanted good qualities from slain he used to be a good guy who gave her all this valuable information about how much of a beautiful place the planet earth is and he just goes from insane character development of like goody two shoes to like badass i run talk now i want this bitch you're my bitch now trapping you put him into jail beating the nigga up lying stealing thieving Oh my god, like he just did so much to get to where he is now and he realized that he did so much and he killed and hurt so much innocent people that he didn't even need to do to get to where he is, you know? Well, of course, Count Zazaban or Zazaban, whatever his name is, he had some long ass Italian Japanese ass name. That guy, he was a bitch, he needed to die, but he's, he needed to die. He, in quote unquote, did that to Princess of Salem, so he needed to die, you know. But that guy who he killed had overall good qualities. He wanted to be the father of Slain. He took Slain in and everything, and it was sad, really. Slain killed his dad a second time, and it was really, really sad. And, well, he killed his next dad again because he, I don't know, he lost the second dad. Is what I want to say, but. Overall, what I'm trying to say is the point is, uh, Slain did a lot of stuff just to get to where he is now, and he just kind of gave up. He just kind of gave up, you know? It, it's understandable, but he just kind of gave up. He just really just kind of gave up. So, Inaho and Slain had their final battle. Once he figured out that everybody was going to go all the way back, everyone went all the way back, they turned around. Hark Light and all the groups and the Goonies, they all turned around. They all went to go fight the Terrans, and they went to go show them that they mean business. If we're going out, we're going out in style. And they're only going back because the Terrans had power enough to where they were going to be able to take them out they ran out of energy they ran out of Alnoa drive uh well, well i wouldn't say they ran out of drive they just kind of ran out of a drive out of motivation you know to do anything so they were outclassed outnumbered there was much more terrans than there was uh martians so had they just turned around and gone back they would have you know put in a dent but they would have ultimately lost since there's more terrans than there are as them and they could just gang, gang up on them you know as well as the space wind and everything like that and the debris they could easily take advantage of that stuff which the terrans were doing and they were doing a fascinating job in that so they just kind of turned around they went in to go fight the terrans uh ended up being everybody's downfall they all ended up dying all of them ended up dying uh and then slain versus inaho inaho bodied him oh my god it was a really good fight overall like they were tied they both knocked each other in the face but overall inaho had more defensive more capabilities as well as a better strategy than compared to slain because slain even just dropped his future telling his future sightness you know of his little machine the tar targes whatever it is tarja targes whatever it is he dropped that because you know was able to deflect that and get rid of it and he's like i don't need that it's fine i could just need it my future is already gone it's already dark and i'm like damn that's how you feel slain that's how you feel but he went in there straight up without that and he got his ass bodied was flying into earth but you know saved his life by letting him uh using his uh his ship uh, kind of like a parachute and they just flew in and what's different between the cataphracts than compared to the old Noah drive based machines that the Martians uh, rely on the cataphracts can actually take the solar power of them going inside of the Earth's atmosphere rather than the than the, their the Martians ships you know doesn't can't really endure that you know so that's why they teleport there or they come on landing bases that's why that's why so Inaho did that he was a parachute he kind of just slid in and helped him out and then getting to the point the Martians lost, Princess Salem came down to Earth, she didn't even really get with Inaho, that was the one disappointing thing, she kept her promise that she stayed with, uh, that one blonde guy, she's married to him now and everything, that's her husband, she's not even in love with him or likes him, she just made up the husband because he's got good qualities and he helped her out, but at the same time, Inaho did much more 
from Salem than that guy. So why is Inaho not the husband? I don't understand that at all. I don't understand that a slain Troyad, a guy who's completely born a Terran, can be the husband of Rinza Salem, even though technically he wasn't, but he was. Why can't Ina, who did much more for Asalem? I didn't understand that at all. That's what bothered me, is that he wasn't a husband. It was some random guy. What? I didn't, I, I didn't like that at all. I didn't like that at all. Even though Ina did become chief uh, executive, of, he had a huge position. He let Slain live because he kept the promise to Asalem to help Slain live and to help change him back to his old roots uh that's why exactly he's not being put on death roll right now you know he's not being put on death roll but it seems to be like from the eye the naked eye of everyone else that he's dead this is a death of train troy has definitely added peace now marsh martians to terrans they now even have a teleporting machine where you can just walk through and it will bring you to the martian verse uh area you know their territory so they now are in a complete peace but even though some old martians still are not a fan you know what racism they're still not a fan but eventually they'll die out and then the new generation will be okay with it but everything is now just come to peace you know everything is peace they don't longer need to fight you know who removed his eye it's just an eye patch now saints alive but in jail asylum was out happy doing all this peaceful shit and you know how well my nigga you know how wasted an eye for a bitch it's not even his wife that he loved and that's gonna be it for this review. I, did you think Inaho needed to boost the Salem? I feel he needed to boost the Salem. That's just my opinion. Tell me what you thought about that down in the comments down below. That's gonna be it for this long review, quite longer than the other ones. If you guys enjoyed this, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, let me know how you felt about it down in the comments down below, as well as the overall anime. Did you enjoy it? Is it one of the greatest mechas you have seen? Because in my opinion, I like this mecha better than Code Geass and Gurren Lagan. Gurren Lagan wasn't really shit to me though. So that's gonna be it. Give the video a thumbs up. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys all later. There will be a top five dropping uh, later on this week. Boy.